There are four species of grouse in the UK and Ireland. All are plump, small-headed, ground-dwelling birds of upland wild places. Similar shaped birds found on lowland fields are going to be related partridges. Although ground-dwelling birds, which are strong runners, grouse are also ready to take to the air and whir away on short, deeply bowed wings, flying with a series of rapid wing beats alternating with long glides. By far the most common species is red grouse, found in the uplands almost exclusively in association with heather, their main food source, and commonly found on grouse moors managed for shooting. Red grouse often first reveal their presence with their distinctive back, back, the back call, and they will often poke their heads up out of the heather to see who has entered their territory. When seen well, red grouse look almost chicken-like, very dumpy and a beautiful rufous red colour all over, with complex darker markings. Males are a brighter rufous red than the females, but otherwise they are very similar. When alert or aroused, male red grouse show large, obvious scarlet red eyebrows. Other than their legs, red grouse show no white and, in flight, birds look all one colour with a darker tail. Ptarmigan is the most similar looking to red grouse in shape, although slightly smaller. But ptarmigan should be relatively easy to identify on location and habitat alone. Found on the very highest peaks of Scotland, ptarmigan occur most widely on montane, lichen-strewn boulder fields in summer, although lower down in winter. Famous for their winter plumage, when only the black tail and black eye, beak and laws break the pure white winter coat, as the breeding season approaches, coloured feathers begin to break through. Ptarmigan are generally greyer than red grouse, but the easiest way to tell the two species apart is that ptarmigan always has extensive white feathering, even in midsummer. If flushed, the wings are almost completely pure white, with just small numbers of brown feathers near the body. Black grouse is possibly our most attractive grouse. It is a declining species and found only in the uplands. Unlike red grouse and ptarmigan, black grouse is most often found around trees, often in them, even dense conifer forests. Attracted to woodland edges, clearings and woodland bogs, black grouse are most often encountered during their displays or leks of the astonishing males in the early morning. The males are much larger than red grouse or ptarmigan, about the size of a mallard. They are jet black in colour, with white undertails and wing markings, and a unique long black curled lyre-shaped tail. At the communal leks, the males display with their tails up and the white undertails fluffed out. Females emerge to consider and choose the males, and that is when they show their intricate patterning off. Heavily barred, tawny brown, well camouflage markings all over, including a same coloured tail. If flush, the birds display a characteristic white wing bar. The underwings are also white and this can be obvious. Much the largest and rarest grouse is Capercaillie. Once extinct and reintroduced into Scotland, numbers are once again declining. Capercaillie are enormous birds. The males are almost the size of a turkey. They are found in deep coniferous woodland where they are frequently encountered feeding high in the trees. If seen well on the ground, males are impressive birds, glossy black with a browner back, white fleck belly and a distinctive white fringe to the black flanks. The head for a grouse is heavy and the bone coloured large beak can't be ignored. Females are smaller, but they are still much larger than black grouse. Although they share the brown pattern plumage, the colouring is much less even. The belly is noticeably paler and there is invariably an unmarked orangey throat and chest patch. If flushed, the birds fly off strongly, swerving through trees, when the unmarked wings and long reddish tail should be apparent. Except for a few well-publicised testosterone-crazed males which will square up against human intruders, Capercaillie are shy birds and unlikely to be just happened upon. But their unique, accelerating song, ending in a bizarre cork pop, is one of the bird world's most extraordinary sounds.